This is Mike with the Strawberry Store. This segment about germinating uh, strawberry seeds, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the media and uh, how to fill the trays. Um, what we've got here is a, a small tub that we use to, uh, to mix soil and to fill trays. Uh, this side of the tray has uh, our soilless mix, uh, which is a sun grow organic mix. Um, and in, on this side, we have uh, some of the uh, vermicompost that we just, uh, within the last couple days, harvested from our worm, worm farm. Um, the ratio that we typically use is uh, uh, 8 to 2, which is 20% uh, uh, vermicompost. Eight parts, we happen to use this, uh, this size measuring um, cup uh, to, uh, to do our, uh, our measuring. Uh, but we, we use uh, eight parts of uh, the, the uh, soilless mix and two parts of the uh, vermicompost to give a 20% vermicompost mix. Then uh, it's very simple, we just uh, mix it all together best we can here. You want to make sure that the, uh, that the mix uh, has some moisture in because the, the vermicompost has uh, live organisms in it which are good organisms that we want to keep alive. Uh, so the vermicompost had enough moisture in it that we shouldn't really have to add any right now. Uh, we're going to be using this uh, very quickly because we're, we're doing some seeding now. Uh, it's uh, December 7th, uh, 2011. We're just starting our seeding for, uh, for next spring. And we're going to seed some, uh, uh, some rare seeds uh, and some seeds that we just, uh, uh, we just uh, found uh, of rare varieties, varieties that we've never, never carried before. So basically, just mix it up best you can. Uh, I do want to mention that that we use vermicompost because uh, it uh, provides some nutrition to the to the plants initially. It also protects the, the uh, plants from seedling diseases including pythium which is uh, a damping off disease um, and it's uh, uh, you know it's a organic material that uh, adds organisms to the mix which we found also uh, helps reduce uh, other pests like fungus gnats. Okay, that seems to be pretty well mixed up here. Now what we're going to do is take a tray that we've already already labeled here. We put a label on with just a label making machine with the, uh, the variety number and the date. You can see it's 12711 today. Uh, this is a 288 tray, uh, 288 cells per tray. It's a little deeper than than some of the trays out there. We, we prefer the, uh, the deep 288. Uh, it gives us a little bit of a margin for error in case uh, there would be some drying conditions. And then basically we just uh, fill the tray with soil. First time through here. And then we we press it down a little bit to remove the air holes because we're going to be, or the air pockets, because we're going to be watering from the bottom and we want the, uh, the soil mix to come in contact with the, uh, with the uh, water, and, uh, which we'll get into here in a little bit, uh, probably in the next segment. So we just press it down lightly just to uh, make sure that, that we've gotten all of the air pockets out of there. And once we've pressed it down, seems like uh, playing a piano or something here. Uh, once we've pressed it down, and we put another light uh, dose of mix on it on the top of that, and uh, I'll show you in a second here. It also helps to uh, to get some of the larger pieces of bark and other things out of there. Um, you can use a seedling mix. Uh, you can use other types of mixes. Uh, through the years we've found this to be our best bet because it gives uh, excellent drainage which is an important point. You want drainage, um, you want uh, holding capacity for the moisture, and a number of other characteristics uh, uh, that, are, uh, that are the seeds require. And then the last step that we'll do, I won't show you all of these, is we just 
lightly tap down the soil, kind of pack it just a tiny bit on the top, just so we have, again, all the air pockets out of it, and uh, a slight indentation uh, in the uh, in the cell, so the uh, the seeds won't uh, won't roll out and roll out into uh, other cells as we're doing the seeding. So I can finish this up later, uh, but that gives you an idea of what we're doing here. We also use uh, these types of pots. These are a two-inch uh, pot that we use for rare varieties. We also use it uh, in circumstances where um, we're going to do some hydroponic type work. Uh, we all, and we also use two-inch mesh pots uh, for, uh, uh, for some hydroponics uh, research that we're doing. So again, we, we fill the, th these containers just lightly, kind of tap it down just a little bit. Same thing with the two inch pot here. Tap it down just slightly, make sure it's making, making contact with the, uh, with the water. Okay, we'll go on to the next uh, segment now.